It's week 11 of the NFL, and we'll see the Antlers rock it on quarterback. After his last game, he's now across 3,000 yards for the season. It's the Antlers and the Nighthawks, and it comes your way next on Madden Football. EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us in South America in the vibrant and colorful Brazilian beachside city of Rio de Janeiro. Today we've got an interesting Week 11 matchup on tap as it'll be the Nighthawks of Buenos Aires taking on the Antlers of Rio de Janeiro. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Rio de Janeiro team. They come in losers of two straight, so they're trying to right the ship here a little bit. They're teetering a little bit, aren't they? And now things could really go south if they lose this game, so they understand the importance of playing well and stopping this streak. Meanwhile, for the visiting Argentinians, they've been playing well, really well. Winners of five of their last seven, but losers last time out. The NFL season has hit high gear, and off we go in Week 11 on EA Sports. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they will be let out by their 6-4 quarterback. And he made both sides happy last week, didn't he? Yeah, <laughs> three and three. I mean, his guys, they caught three touchdown passes, but he threw three interceptions. Gotta get off of that schneid and get back to just throwing touchdown passes and taking care of the ball better. Here's Barkley. And this one is gonna be off the mark, too far out in front. When you look at this defense, They've been pretty solid against the pass toward the middle of the pack, number 14 in the NFL. I think if you talk to their head coach, you'll get a nice answer about how much he likes his team and what they're doing. But at the end of it, he would admit there's definitely room to improve. They're able to find Pryor. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. Now Barkley. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. He's now second and 10. Throwing again, Barkley. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Again, he'll drop to throw. Pressure comes and down he goes. He could not get away that time, and it'll be a loss of 11 on third down. In every game, we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them, and they get their first sack of the contest. And on now is the punter. As the first drive of the game stalls out, he's on to punt. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. And leading him out, their veteran quarterback. Well, his ratio was good last week. Most quarterbacks are really excited about a three-to-one ratio, but it's flipped in the wrong direction. <laughs> he threw three interceptions, not touchdown passes, and he only had the one TD pass in that game, so he's trying to turn that around and find a way for his team to win. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, give him 14. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a creep. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. A loss of four that time on the sack, and it brings up second. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Off the play fake. Smart. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. 
So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. On the draw, this is Barkley. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. They'll get eight, but they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive because that's not enough. As much as I praise teams for being true to who they are, in this situation, I wonder if maybe they outguessed themselves a little bit. Third down seemed like an obvious passing situation. They chose to run it and then get anywhere close to the first down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. They'll start on the ground here on first down. Little power on the move that time, but still tackled shy of the 20. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And he can't escape, and down he goes. They bring the safety on the blitz, and he busts through to drop him for an eight-yard loss. Tell you what, he did not have much time there to skin the field before he was ducking and covering. Did it appear to you, as it did to me, that the defensive front won their play really quickly, meaning yeah. the guys in front of them had almost no chance to block them? They were on him in a hurry. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. A bad time for a roughing penalty, and they get the gift of a first and 10. Back to throw, Barkley. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And his guys are going to get the football at their own 47-yard line. And this Charles, definitely not what they were wanting to see. Remember, he threw three interceptions in the loss last week, and now he gives the ball away again here in the very first quarter. And you have to think that this was drilled into him all week, too, by his teammates, by his coaching staff. They've told him all week long, we've got to protect the football. They probably crossed that fine line with giving him the right advice and saying it too much, and it turned out that it got into his head a little bit. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Up the middle with Barkley. Room here to run. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. 15 yards on the play, first down. Off the bootleg. Smart. They'll roll him out right. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble. And it's second down. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. On second down, here's Barkley. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. And he's going to be taken down short of the first, right around the 15-yard line. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect them to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with this fourth down call. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through, and that'll make it 3-0 here in the first. 
So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there and a nice one for them. They force the interception, put together a little drive, and then come away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. And he returns this to the 22. Now the Rio offense set to take over. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. But you look at this defense. They've been pretty solid against the pass toward the middle of the pack number 14 in the NFL. And you see the starting unit here, but really, you're going to see a lot of different personnel, a lot of different packages as they rotate in and out throughout the game. And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Another incompletion there. That's five in a row now to start this game. He's got to take a deep breath now, step back, shake it off a little bit, trust his offensive line, and hope that his play caller dials up something that can give him a completion and get him going. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. So finally completes his first pass. Credit the defense, though. They've been showing him some different looks, keeping him off balance. Yeah, I like, you. I like the observation that you had there because when you give him different looks and give any quarterback different looks, it takes just a little bit longer to process sometimes, and you don't throw the ball with the same confidence. You're not sure that that's where you should go with the football, and that's worked for the defense early in this game, and now he's got his first completion. Let's see if his confidence comes back, and he starts to get into a nice little groove. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. Now he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. 23 yards to pick up there. I'll give them credit for a good read right there because they read the man coverage on the right side and sent the tight end a few steps down the field and then angled him to the left on a crossing route. And he was able to get enough separation on this play to turn it into a nice game. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. On second and ten, Barkley. And he whips that one incomplete there. Now help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well, so give some credit to the defense. Throwing deep for Murray. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they run successful. That one sails out of bounds. A side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. Buenos Aires about set for another try on offense. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December Yay, left. More football. <laughs> We're only in November, uh, but they would be a wild card team, and that's and now off to the races down the right side. Now look out! He's to the twenty, and touchdown! A big play there. His eighth rushing touchdown on the year, and the Nighthawks are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And with that carry, he's already over 100 yards here in the first half. And, partner, you know exactly what he's saying to his teammates right now, right? Especially to the play caller. Give me the ball. Again and, <laughs> and again, again, and again and again. It's not that heavy, sir. I'll take it. Now the extra point try forthcoming. He's got it, and now it's a 10-0 lead here in the opening quarter. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Well, the Rio offense set to take over. They'll look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10.
throwing to start the drive. Barkley, and incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Brings up second and 10 at the 22-yard line. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Well, we keep stats on everything, don't we? This is one that you don't want to have. That's his second drop right here in the first quarter. Yeah, I was going to say, only in the first quarter. Certainly a shift that he wants to write quickly. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. I don't know, he had to be pretty quick with his fingers to start and stop after the ball hit the ground. I'm giving him some credit. Well, I'm thinking about the mental focus, you know? Yeah. Or the mental focus. Yeah, the that's thing. true. got to stay with it. That's true. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. That's pulled in at the 32. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. Buenos Aires about set for another try on offense. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Barkley inside handoff. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. Looking to throw. Smart. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't come in. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space. Couldn't uncover the end of the route. And that one winds up incomplete. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. A call for a fair catch. And it's made at about the 23-yard line. A 40-yard punt. No return. Now the Rio offense set to take over. And still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look at look to the quarterback, but sometimes it's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up and let's go because they still have an opportunity to make things happen. Shake it off. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Back to throw. Barkley. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Murray. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Now a handoff up the middle. Willis, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter down. It's our home team with possession. And they'll come up second and seven as they've got it as we resume action. To throw on second down. Barkley. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. So many offense watching Google running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Down to the 10. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. They were in the dime. They had six defensive backs there. So go ahead and throw it. He threw it, and it hurt him. It's almost thrown into a blanket of coverage, isn't it? You talk about the best defenders you have are the defensive backs. Six of them on the field. You're almost asking for trouble, and that's exactly what they ran into. Ended up throwing a pick six. Yeah, six defenders and six points. Extra point attempt to come here. Yeah. 
He's got it, and it's 17 0. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Pushing his way through. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Now the Rio offense set to take over. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. don't want to. No, but you know, well, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just, you called, a I think you just called a desperation time. I, I think did. you did. But let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating, to use a boxing analogy. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. He continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. And these sacks, they're starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, they've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. Throwing on third and long, Barkley. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Still going inside the 20. And he's going to get it all the way down to the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Oh, my goodness. I'll tell you what. Third down. All you're thinking is, what can we do to keep this drive going to get enough yardage to move the sticks? You're certainly not thinking about taking this one almost the length of the field, but that's exactly what happens here. What a play, and what a change of fortunes. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And a missed tackle there as he pushes forward for a gain of four. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. They're knocking on the door as they come to the line here on third and goal from the one. They'll try to run this one in. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. With the way things have gone in this game, I think they've got to consider going for it here. I realize it's just the second quarter, so they're not panicking, but they need something to give them positive momentum to get things going. Now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit here. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. And his kick is good. So a conservative decision there, but it does put him on the board. And I know the players hate it, the coaches hate it, but sometimes you just got to take the points when they're there. Sometimes a field goal is pretty darn good. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Buenos Aires offense back out now. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. And he's going to hook up with his big tight end, complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. The false start backs him up five, first and 15. Looking to throw. Smart. And he will find his man on the outside. Call it a gain of 12, but of course not a first down due to the previous penalty. Now second and three. 
the 44 yard line. Off play action. Smart. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. This offense so far on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This time it's third and three. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. And the point is Ari's first down. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside run. Run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Give them 32 on the play. This offense is looking very comfortable here in this first half. Very relaxed, very smooth, very efficient. No wasted motions. Things are definitely going their way, and they continue to move the ball downfield. So after the big play, look at this. All the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. Operating from the gun. Smart. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. I absolutely love that play call there. They just came off of a big play. They've got momentum in their direction, and they come back and take the shot at the end zone, just unable to complete it by love their aggressiveness. When you feel like the defense, a sigh of relief could have been back-to-back -back really big plays. 144 yards rushing for him now to this point. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. Back to throw. Smart looking in zone, but it's incomplete. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force them into going for three and not giving up six. And this one is right through, and that will extend their lead even further. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Now the Rio offense set to take over. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that... There he goes, left side! A big play there on the catch and run. And even 60 yards. And normally when you think about huge field flipping plays like this, it's that shifty slot receiver, that burner on the outside. Not here. That's a tight end doing work down the field. Where's the oxygen mask? He's going to need it after that one. A big, big play. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. Throwing again on second and ten. Barkley. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. A two-yard pickup makes it third and eight. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he is caught. And all the way down inside the five to the four. He's got the first down. He's got a big game going right now. Already over 100 yards receiving in this first half alone. They'll try and run this one right up the gut. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. A great play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Antlers get a bit closer. 
Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play, and they actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on the stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. The extra point splits the uprights, and the lead is trimmed down to 10. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Buenos Aires is about set for another try on offense. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But we also have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. They'll go to Barkley again. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubt for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on a keeper the moment it revealed itself. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. They overload him that time with a safety blitz, and he winds up being dropped for a loss of seven. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. Operating from the gun. Smart. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. On third down, they're going to go with the option. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. He'll get 15 there as he kept it himself, yet it will still lead to a fourth down. So they bring out their punter as he's on to kick it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. This offense back to work now late in this first half. Well, not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use it down by two scores. On first and 10, Barkley. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. From the 29, Barkley. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Trying to get something positive to happen here before the break, and they sure need it. They went for the big one, but it winds up incomplete. Off the play fake, Barkley. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Well, the other day they told us, well, we've got third and five or less. We have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. 
39-yard punt, six yards on the return. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Things starting to get interesting in this final weekend before Thanksgiving. So let's see what's going on around the NFL. Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. For this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. A first down carry for Barkley. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. 160 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Again, it's Barkley. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Brings up second and four. Off play action, smart. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. First target, first catch, and a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. They hit that crossing route really well. Excellent timing, puts it right on him, and he keeps running. Yeah, turned it upfield for good yardage. Operating from the gun. Smart. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half. Incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target in the second half. Yeah, should not stop. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Nighthawks take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. 
Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Extra point right down the middle. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. Looking to throw on second down, Barkley. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. So nothing doing there. Third and seven now. Brings up third down and seven. Looking to throw, Barkley. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. That's not the first time they've looked his way when they've needed a big play. He's been the go-to guy all game long. And they get the hook up again on third down to keep this drive alive. Throwing on first down, Barkley. Pryor has it complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A couple of first downs on the drive already. As they'll go from the 47 now on first down. They'll run on first down. It's Willis. Just a yard on the pick up there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, give him credit for trying, but there's no fooling the defense with that call. They were reading run, and they set up to stop the run and then execute it. Can't get away, and he's taken down. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Back to throw, Barkley. And that one to the right side and incomplete. But following the play here, now we've got an injury. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. And they'll send out their punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today. Taking it about the 16. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He has a chance to hit that often elusive 200-yard mark on this drive. And most of the time during a game, people aren't keeping track of individual statistics. Are you sure? Well, a lot of the runners kind of know. <laughs> but I'll guarantee you, someone has sent word into the offensive line that he's got a chance to get over 200 on this drive. That should give them a little extra motivation because they love it when backs break that barrier. Absolutely. We'll see if he can do it. They'll run it again with Barkley. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 195 yards rushing for him now in the afternoon as he continues to put a hurt on this defense. On first down, Bright. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe, up to the 41. And we're at the 41, second and nine. Well, it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. A three-yard gain on the play. 
brings up third down. On third down, smart. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. On first down, smart. He's got a man that's caught left sideline. That one goes for 24 yards. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. They go play action here on first down. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Second down and six now. Second and six. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? Looking to throw. Smart. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. And his kick is indeed good, and that will extend their lead even further. Got three more points tacked on, and this margin getting more comfortable by the minute. And with the lead where it is, you can actually feel good about field goals. We talk all the time about scoring sixes, not threes. But in this case, they're just looking to chew up some time and come away with points. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. Now the Rio offense set to take over. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Now a play fake here on first down. Caught on the right side by Jones. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Back to throw, Barkley. Throw caught there by Willis. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. A nine yard pickup, just one yard away from three consecutive first down plays. Looking to throw again on second down. Barkley, he finds his man complete. It's Murray. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. They'll look to throw again. Looking left side of him, he's got a man. That's Murray. Ten more for him on that one. He's been a busy man. It's a first down. Up the middle they go. It's Willis, and he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. Second down and three. Looking to throw, Barkley. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. On third down, Willis. 
And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Willis, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. At the 17-yard line. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Willis. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Sets him up nicely first and goal. It was a pickup of 14. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, okay, if we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Brings up second and goal. And they'll try to run the option here. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff. Delay of game. Awesome. So a penalty that can frustrate a coach so much, a mental error, and it'll back him up five yards. Still third down. How crucial will those five yards be? We'll see as they come up again here, third and goal. Back to throw, Barkley. And incomplete, he had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. That incompletion brings us one step closer to the end of this one. Maybe mercifully, partner. And let's face it, though, no surprise, they're still flinging it around. They have pride, too. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. They had the play call on fourth and goal, but it's dropped in the end zone. And the ball will go over on the goal line stand. They kept it in the air on fourth, Charles. They ran on first and second down, tried it through the air on third and fourth, couldn't come away with anything on fourth and goal. And remember, in these situations, the field is really condensed. Everything is squeezed tight. So as a defender, you can actually take more chances here because they won't have as much time to throw the football, and a receiver really can't run past you. If they do, they run out of the back of the end zone. Nice job by the D, shutting them down. On second down, Bright. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. And it's third down. A give to Barkley out of the gun. And he will get the first down as he's up to the 20-yard line. 212 yards rushing for him now in the afternoon as he just continues to pummel this defense. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. False start. Awesome. The false start backs him up five. First and 15. After the penalty, they go with Barkley. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 15. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. And that's the knowledge you gain from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. 
They'll give him four yards there, and that's going to make it fourth down. Excellent job there defensively. Gave up the underneath to the tight end on third down, and they made sure that they did their job. Got him on the ground and prevented him picking up a first down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Taken from just outside the 30. It'll be a 47-yard punt with a net of 40 following a seven-yard return. And they will take over first and 10. The Rio offense about to set up shop once again. Facing a big fourth quarter deficit here. Things not looking good. You know, this offense, though, they've been in the top half of the NFL so far this season. But in this one, well, their defense has really struggled. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. This defense, they just continue to feast. Five sacks now as a unit. It's been quite an afternoon getting to the quarterback. And we're seeing it come from a variety of places as well. Sometimes just the guys up front getting to them. Other times you had extra guys rushing the quarterback, twists and stunts. It's been a variety, and they've had no way of blocking them. Throwing on third and long. Barkley. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. And now some disagreement down on that sideline. The red flag is out, and we're going to get a challenge. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Good call there on first down. And Brandon, I'm getting better over the years and not screaming out, screen, screen, screen with my defensive training. They want to keep those pass rushers honest. And they did so there, and they wind up picking up positive yardage. Shoves him aside. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And now they're in the hurry up. Off the play fake. Barkley. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. On second down now, it's Willis. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaking up. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. On third down, Willis. And he's going to come up well shy of the first here as the tackle's made right around the 12. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Here's Barkley. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. This has obviously been a bad loss, but one of the few things they can still do is try and throw the ball all the way to the end zone and get some points on the board so they're not shut out over the final two quarters of this game. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And it's caught. Touchdown. A five-yard touchdown. And the Antlers have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. The fourth quarter touchdown there, back to a two-score game, but time is not their ally. No, it's not, partner. They still have a pulse, but it's probably a little weak right now. A lot of things have to go right in these final two minutes plus for them. I think they have to be thinking onside kick here, and we know how difficult those are to recover. Point after, right down the middle. And that cuts this lead down to 13. And the hands team does its job. They're able to secure it. Recovered by the receiving team. 
the Buenos Aires offense back out now. Certainly want to avoid what they had to do last possession. That was punt the football because this, this game's starting to tighten up. In a basketball sense, you think about taking a little bit of the air out of the ball, right? Maybe milk some clock, limit the possessions. In this case, they might want to do the same thing but control the game offensively, put together some first downs, put together a drive, and keep it away from them. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. On third down, Barkley. Yeah, maybe a little over-pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25-yard line. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll try the right side here. Barkley, and he's dropped just before the line to game. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Here's a give to Barkley. And he is going to have a first down here. And that should be the one that seals a victory. It's a gain of six, and that ought to just about do it. Victory very much in sight now as they'll take a knee. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right? Just us against the world and get it done. <laughs> How happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. So this crowd will not go home happy. It's a victory for our visitors. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every facet of the game, they handled their business. Offense took care of the football, converted it into points. Defense took the ball away, gave it back to the offense. Special teams, right there with them. That's the type of game a coach is going to really love and value. And when they show the film, they have to be careful not to give out too many kudos and kill their motivation going forward. So for Buenos Aires, it's an important win in terms of staying in the postseason race as they move to 6-4. and four. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Rio, add another loss to the pile as they drop to two and eight now on the year. And they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.